Hello friends, in this video, we are presenting explanations of Jamia Millia Islamia 2021 MSc Bioscience paper. Let's begin. A good example of auxin herbicide is 2,4-D, NAA, IAA or IBA. 2,4-dichloropnoxyacetic acid or also known as 2,4-D, it's a synthetic auxin based herbicide which acts as a PS2 inhibitor. So hence, 2,4-D must be a auxin based herbicide. The energy that can reduce global warming is coal, petroleum, geothermal or none of these. As we all know, the fossil fuel like coal and petroleum, these are the root cause of global warming. While geothermal energy is being seen as a future fuel because it is stored as a heat within the earth and can reduce the global warming. So hence, option C would be the correct answer. The cells that helps in rolling of leaves in grasses are called bulliform cells, trichoblasts, guard cells or mucilaginous cells. Bubble shaped bulliform cells of monocots leaves are responsible for unfolding of the developing leaf and rolling and unrolling of mature leaves which is in response to the alternate wet and dry condition. So hence option A would be the correct answer that bulliform cells are responsible for the rolling of leaves in grasses. Phyloclade is found in asparagus, aponsia, nerium or bryophyllum. Phyloclade is a flattened photosynthetic shoot which is having the modified leaf like branches which is found in xerophytic plant like aponsia or cactus. So hence option B would be the correct answer. Albedo is most common in Bombay, Jaipur, Delhi or Ladakh. Basically albedo hota kya hai? Albedo refers to the quantity of radiation which is reflected back after falling on them. In Latin, albedo simply means the whiteness. Hence, the Ladakh like snow covered areas can reflect 50% to 60% of the incoming solar radiation which is falling on them in comparison to slopes or ground, which is a very high amount of albedo. Hence, Ladakh would be the right option in this case. The only floating national park of the world located in India is Kabit. Kibul Lemzo, Kaziranga or Kyoledio. As we all know that Kibul Lemzo is the world's only floating national park present in Manipur state of the India. Hence option B would be the correct answer. Major component of biogas is butane, propane, ethane or methane. Biogas is basically made up of 50 to 70 percent of its component is methane. 25 to 45 percent component is carbon dioxide and rest is other gases. So hence option D would be the correct answer that the chunk of biogas is made up of methane. During exposure of light, photo oxidation of chlorophyll takes place in the absence of chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, phycobilin or carotenoids. During exposure of light, after excitation chlorophyll enters into the ground state and release some extra energy which may be absorbed by the oxygen and may produce the radical. This radical may destroy the photosystem. Carotenoids ensure that this extra release energy is absorbed by them and photosystem remain the protected. Hence, in this case, the option D would be the correct answer that carotenoids are responsible for saving the photosystem from photooxidation. Compensation point is when rate of photosynthesis is equal to the rate of respiration, when there is neither photosynthesis nor respiration, when entire food synthesized during photosynthesis remains unutilized or when there is enough water just to meet the plant's requirement. Compensation point is the amount of light intensity on the light curve when rate of photosynthesis is equal to the rate of respiration or we can say the uptake of carbon dioxide is being balanced by the release of oxygen. Such compensation point kind of a thing is often seen in the early morning or late evening. Hence option A is the correct answer. 
pigment responsible for photomorphogenetic response is xanthophyll, chlorophyll, cytochrome or phytochrome. Generally photomorphogenesis is a light dependent plant growth pattern which is comparatively different from the photosynthesis. There are at least three stages in the plant development where you can see the photomorphogenesis. First, seed germination. Second, seedling development. And the third, when a vegetative stage is switching to the flowering stage. There are a large number of photomorphogenetic responses are mediated by the proteinaceous phytochrome pigments, which are present generally in two kind of a stage, active state and in inactive state. Active state is controlling the biological response, while inactive stage is not controlling any biological response. So here the option D would be the answer that phytochrome are the pigment which are responsible for photomorphogenetic responses. Photolysis of water in plants is associated with PS1, PS2, cytochrome B or quinone. Photolysis of water occurs in the thylakoid lumen. Enzyme complex responsible for this is associated with PS2. Whenever the absorbed electron they return to the ground state, they release definitely the energy which is used for the splitting of water. So hence the option B is the correct answer. A completely haploid plant can be obtained from root tip, apical meristem, carpel or anther. Pollen or anther culture is used basically for the production of haploid plants. So hence the option D would be the correct answer. Oblique septum is found in Althea rosea, Glorioso superba, Capsicum fruticens or Delbergia sisu. Generally the family Solanaceae they have the gynoecium with an oblique septum. Capsicum fruticens is a member of Solanaceae and hence they found to have such condition. So option C would be the correct answer. To which family are present inferior ovary and syngenesis stamen? Poaceae, is it Liliaceae, Asteraceae or Fabaceae? If you can see in the diagram, a thalamus with the inferior ovary and flower above is a epigynous condition. While if the anthers is fused and the filaments are free, that such condition is called as syngenesis condition. Both of these conditions are found in the Asteraceae. So option C is the correct answer. Monodelphus stamens are found in Umbliferae, Malvaceae, Fabiaceae or Solanaceae. When the stamens of a flower are united as a tube around the style of the carpal, then such condition is called as monodelphus. Androsium having monodelphus condition is found in Malvaceae. So option B is the correct answer. All algae have chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Chlorophyll B and carotene, chlorophyll A and carotene, phycobilin and carotene. The pigments is one of the criteria which can be used for the classification of algae. The pigments in algae can be chlorophyll, carotenoids or phycobilin proteins. Remember, chlorophyll A is the main pigment found in all classes of algae, while chlorophyll B is found in the chlorophyce and euglenaceae but absent in red algae. Among the carotenoid, beta carotene is found in all classes of algae. Hence, option C is the correct answer. The vegetative reproduction by means of gemma is found in Selaginella, Rixia, Marsilia or Mercantia. Gemma are the cup-shaped asexual body present in Mercantia, which is required for vegetative propagation. Hence, Option D is the correct answer. In what form the food is stored in the mycelium of cystopal? Sugar and oil, starch and protein, glycogen and oil, proteins and steroids. Plant and algae, they store their food in the form of starch, while fungi, they store their food as glycogen. Cystopal have stored food in the form of both glycogen and oil. So, option C is correct. Fruiting bodies in Aspergillus is Apothecium, Perithecium, Hypothecium or Clastothecium. Aspergillus which is a conidal fungus, it has a fruiting body also known as Clastothecium. Hence, option D is the correct answer. 
in which of the following plant water is not necessary for fertilization valisneria pisensativum funaria or selaginella generally as we know that water is essential for the fertilization in thallophytes bryophytes and pteridophytes now selaginella is a bryophyte valisneria is a hydrophyte while funaria which also require the water for fertilization hence valisneria selaginella and funaria all three of them require water for the fertilization in contrast pea plant is a bisexual plant which is having female and male flowers on the same plant and hence do not require water for pollination so option b is the correct answer the c4 plants are different from c3 plant with reference to types of pigments involved in photosynthesis the substance that accept carbon dioxide in carbon assimilation types of end products of photosynthesis or none of these C3 plants are different from C4 plants with respect to the substrate that accept carbon dioxide in carbon assimilation. In C3, this is a RUBP which condenses with carbon dioxide to yield PGA, while in C4, carbon dioxide is condensed with phosphoenol pyruvate to yield oxaloacetoacetate. Hence, option B is the correct answer. In cycles, pollination is exclusively by water, animal, wind, or insect. See, cycles is a gymnosperm, and most of the gymnosperm they follow the pollination through wind. So option C is correct. Pollen grain gets germinated by germ pore, chalaza, integument, or micropy. Pollen germination it generally starts when the pollen grain falls over the stigma. As you can see in the diagram, the entine grows out through one of the germ pore to form the pollen tube, and it ultimately fuses with the female gametes hence the option a is the correct answer the innermost layer of anther is tapetum whose function is dehiscence mechanical support protection or nutritional tapetal layer is having important physiological value as all the food material entering into the sporogenous tissue it diffuses through it hence tapetum has a nutritional value they are found in the inflorescence of g maize are modification of that's very simple as you can see it in the diagram the inflorescence of a zea maize or the corn are modification of style so option a is the correct answer botulism is human skin disease type of food poisoning caused by the bacteria a plant disease caused by the parasitic bacteria or a type of toxin produced by the milk bacteria botulism is a type of food poisoning which is done by the clostridium botulinum it produces a nerve toxin which causes the respiratory or muscular paralysis so option b is the correct answer coliforms are used as an indicator organism of sewage pollution because they are pathogen they ferment lactose they are abundant in human intestine or they grow in 48 hours coliform testing is often used as an indicator of sewage contamination because these bacteria are found in human intestine and through which they often end up in sewer through fecal hence option c is the correct answer cyanobacteria differ from purple and green phototrophic bacteria because cyanobacteria produce oxygen during photosynthesis do not require light use hydrogen sulfide as an electron acceptor or have a membrane enclosed nucleus cyanobacteria are generally autotrophic and carry out photosynthesis while sulfur bacteria has bacteriochlorophyll pigment and carry out the photosynthesis without evolving the oxygen hence option a is the correct answer which of the following is most likely to be bacterial membrane filtration ionizing radiation centrifugation or defreezing generally ionizing radiations are used to kill the microorganism where in the name of ionizing radiation we often use the short wavelength high intensity uv or gamma radiation hence option b is the correct answer the isolation of individual organelle from cell homogenate can be achieved by x ray diffraction chromatography employment of different solvents or differential centrifugation as you can see it in the diagram the differential cell centrifugation can be used to separate the different organelles in a step by step manner hence option d is a correct answer
बुक लंग्स आर रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन इन मोलस्का मेमल्स निमेटोज और अरेक्निडा बुक लंग्स आर द टाइप ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन विच आर फाउंड इन द अरेक्निड फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्पाइडर एंड स्कॉर्पियन सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर Which one of these is not an autoimmune disease? Hemophilia, rheumatoid arthritis, myasthenia gravis, or neuropathy? Autoimmune diseases are those diseases where the body's immune system attack our own body cells. Myasthenia gravis and rheumatoid arthritis are the some classical examples of autoimmune disease. Acquired hemophilia is a rare autoimmune disease. in which our own antibody they attack the clotting factor so the clotting absence of clotting factor is causing the delayed blood clotting or absence of blood clotting neuropathy can be manifested by various reason and rarely by the autoimmune method hence option d is the correct answer a person who is on a long hunger strike and is surviving only on water will have less amino acid in his urine less urea in his urine more glucose in his blood or more sodium in his urine see a person who is on a long starvation their body must have consume all his stored food like glycogen and protein since there is no longer stored food is available so it cannot degrade to produce the urea and since he is just surviving only on water so there will be absence of urea in his urine so option b is the correct answer in albinism the absence of which pigment make skin and hair very light color carotin hemoglobin chlorophyll or melanin that's very easy albinism is an autosomal recessive disorder which is caused by the mutation in the melanin gene hence option d is the correct answer which of the following is not an antibody iga igb igg or igm as we know there are five classes of antibody exist in our body igg ige igd iga or igm there is nothing called igg b in present in our body so option b is the correct carriers of blood rich in glucose and amino acids from intestine to liver is dorsal aorta renal portal vein hepatic portal vein or mesenteric artery venous pathway comprises the hepatic portal vein which carries the blood rich in absorbed foods such as glucose and amino acid and it carries from intestine to the liver so option c is the correct answer birds and mammals share one of the following characteristic as common feature pigmented skin pneumatic bones warm blooded and viviparity see the answer is very clear they both are warm blooded there are certain characteristic which are very common to birds and there are certain characteristics which are very common to mammals for example the characteristic which is common to apes are pneumatic bones the feathers covering covered body and oviparity while the characteristics which is very common to the mammals are solid bones that means they cannot have the pneumatic bones melanin production and they are viviparous the common thing between both of them are the warm blooded so hence the option c is the correct answer the long neck of a camel is due to bony plate between two vertebrae muscles between two vertebrae increase in length of the cervical vertebra or none of these see camel has a long neck due to the presence of an extra bony plate between the two vertebrae this adaptation in camel helps them to reach out the food without bending their body hence option a is the correct answer stamens is secreted by mast cells kupffer cells macrophages or nissel granules in response to allergen stamens is released by basophils or mast cells which is found in the mucous membrane and nearby connective tissue so option a is the correct answer which is responsible for ejection of milk from the mammary gland in mammals oxytocin prolactin serotonin or melatonin see always remember the hormones prolactin and oxytocin they are both involved in the lactation process prolactin it stimulates the milk production while oxytocin it signals the letdown reflexes to release the milk from the mammary gland 
So option A is the correct answer. With this, we conclude the last part of this series. Stay connected and subscribe in large number. Thank you very much.